Welcome back to the gun shop. I am Chris Cantrell with Bear Country Outdoors and James Forsland with Bear Country Outdoors. And we have, uh, I think, uh, a very sought after review for you guys. Loophole just came out with their new range finding binoculars. And previously I had been running the Swarovski uh, range finding binoculars. And so we've had a bunch of time with both of them now. And we're, uh, we're here to give you guys a skinny. We'll start with, let's, like I said, I've had the Swarovskis much longer than I've had um, the Leupolds because, well, these just came out. So I have been uh, hammering Leupold to put some of these out for years. Um, sorry about pestering you at the SHOT Show, guys. <laughs> but um, most of my scopes are Leupolds, uh, as most of you know. Uh, James runs... Uh, loophole scopes. Doug runs loophole scopes uh, in the gun shop here. The uh, rifles I build for the sheriff's department and uh, all the SWAT snipers, they're loophole scopes. So I feel like I have a very good um, pool and knowledge base on the, on the scopes. But as far as the range finding binoculars, since they're new, we don't really know. So uh, we've been running them in the field. I feel like there's there's a couple differences here. There's a couple similarities here. So let's start with the uh, Swarovskis. These are uh, as you, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but they're just slightly taller. Um, a little bit longer. They're a little bit longer. I think these are 6.6 .6 inches, and I want to say these are 5.9 inches. Um, so not a big difference as far as fitting in your bino harness. So depending on what type of bino harness you guys are running. Um, we had uh, some of the new loophole harnesses and obviously they fit that because they're made for that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, these are a little bit heavier um, than the Swarovski's. The loophole are a little bit heavier. So I think these are about 32.6 ounces. These are 39 ounces. Don't fact check me on that. <laughs> but um, so obviously I ran these because I was looking for an optic that would not strain my eyes tremendously during the course of four or five months we're out hunting mm -hmm. during the year. Um, and I ran loophole binos before I got these, but I needed something with a rangefinder in it because I was always losing my rangefinder. Or if you guys have never ran a rangefinder binocular, when you transition, so you're out glassing for you, this is the 30th day you've been in the field. Finally, you find your buck or your bull, and then you're, you, maybe you have a Cantrell Outdoors long range shooting system, right? So he's, he's, he's out there a ways, you wanna get set up for a shot. You pull out your range finder, you're trying to find him in the range finder. You don't know where he's at. You finally find him in the range finder, you hit him. Then you gotta put that down. Then you gotta transition back to your binos and you're, you're try, trying to, there's much more moving parts. So with this, it's much simpler to just be glassing, ranging. Yeah. I don't It's a game changer in that. Oh, I, th yeah. I think so, you yeah. know, and to be completely honest, like half the time you get bored, right? So I think it helps keep you in the glass. It can also give you a little bit more accuracy on what you're ranging because you have more zoom, ob obviously, because you're running through binoculars instead of a that was little a bit, tiny one power. Yeah, you know. I think that was a huge thing with me Originally, so the first couple couple rangefinders I had, the optics were garbage. I mean, the optics have already obviously been, um, you know, been getting better and better with time. But like the first original rangefinders, I don't know about you guys, but man, like you would you'd be looking through your nice binos. I think I had like an old pair of like Leupold Olympic 1050s, mm -hmm. which were awesome, by the way. <laughs> uh, but then I'd pull out my rangefinder, you'd look through, and it was the optic was so dark. Like if you were dawn or dusk, like that was, oh, like, yeah. it was game over For like, sure. because you can't see anything. Mm -hmm. So um, running these, obviously it's great glass. Um, the laser was decent. There was another set uh, of, uh, I think the Leicas, the laser was a little bit faster, but they were way, way bigger than this and heavier. And I didn't, I didn't think they were uh, a good fit for me for what I wanted because I wanted something a little bit more compact. And so running these, they've been great. Now. Why would I, why would I want to switch, uh, from these to the loopholds? The weight difference isn't a big deal for me. Um, the size difference isn't huge. They're basically, basically the same. These are 10 by 42s. These are 10 by 42s. Um, the laser, so these are a couple years old. These are brand new. The laser is better in, in 
in the in the loop bolts. It's faster. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about. I don't know if they've upgraded the Swarovski's or not. You can tell the glass eyepiece is a little bit wider diameter on the loop bolts. Right. Over the Swarovski. So if you got, you know, I. Eye issues, or you you like looking through a bigger piece of glass? These are a little bit bigger diameter. I think back to like how much time we spend in the glass too. I don't think it's worth having a pair of bad binoculars because how much eye fatigue you'll get mm -hmm. from just glassing back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, but like I said, about the same size. Now coming to the glass, people are going to say, "Oh, the Swarovski is a thousand times better than than the Loophole glass, right?" I've run them both mm -hmm. quite a bit. James has run them both. Doug's run them both. So we've we've all had these conversations. You know, realistically, what what's going to be better? And and to be honest, and these are their these are their BX fours. They're not the fives, right? Mm -hmm. So they're still a step up from here. But the glass is pretty darn freaking close. And the, the the big thing which i probably should have started this video out was what what do these cost right mm -hmm. like what's the price point why does it matter why are you even reviewing these 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 start out at four thousand bucks and these are 15. yeah so like huge th price difference yeah like i think these are you know msrp these start at 39.99 or whatever and these are 15.99 in the hunting world we're always trying to get better faster, lighter, you know, everything. But I think that when it comes down to it, I mean, I can buy two two pairs of these and still have beer money. Right. You know, um, for what you could what you could buy the swirls for. And these and these are good glass. Uh, they're good glass. The range finder's pretty good. These range to 2,200 yards. These range to 2,600 yards. Is that gonna matter for most of you? Probably not, you know? They're gonna range farther than you can shoot. It says, I think these range down to, I'm probably gonna get this wrong. I wanna say this, it like it was like 10 yards or something. And like, these are the older sets. So it only goes down to like 25 or 30 or something, mm -hmm. which isn't a huge deal. But if you're an archer, it's nice. I was, yeah. I was getting ranges at seven yards with these. Which can be a big difference if you're an archery hunter and that's what you're using to range. Yeah. You know? 25 yards max or minimum and right. then seven yards or whatever it is. You know, that's, that's a big difference in the archery world if you're making a shot, you know? And I think they do have a ton of functions. Um, and like I said, I think that like these, this is very much apples to apples, right? Like size, magnification, uh, ranging power, like very close. Even like I said, the glass, I think the glass is super close. Like I don't think the average person could tell the difference. I can't, I can't tell the difference. If you're a professional burger, I'm gonna hear all sorts of nonsense and big terms about, you know, oh, the loophole is this and the brightness and edge clarity and things of that nature. But like I said, I mean, I spend months and months and months a year staring into these things. And I feel like the, the glass is, is pretty darn close. So, um, yeah. <laughs> if, if you have unlimited funds and, and you wanna buy a pair of Swaros, have at it. Um, to me personally, would I buy a pair of Swaros over the Leupolds? Absolutely not. You still have Leupolds warranty. So that's 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 the topper for me. So anybody who has ever dealt with Leupold knows that a warranty, I should say. Mm -hmm. uh, if you if you break something, same thing. I had the same thing happen with a, one of their scopes. Yeah. Just I don't know how I did it, but somehow a chip got in the lens. And yeah. You know, they just sent me a new one, no questions asked. And I think if you're gonna spend 15, 1600 bucks on something, right? That's mm -hmm. that's pretty awesome. Now, if I drop these Swaros right now and I chip the glass, I'm out 4,000 bucks. That's it. You send in a Swaro, they're like, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Give us money, yeah. you know? Yeah, and, the... and nothing against them, uh, break these, that's it. You're out of pair of binos. You're another 4,000 bucks in the hole. So I think, I'm, I think probably that's one of the, one of the best things about Leupold is their warranty and their customer service. Uh, I have never once had a problem. The, the best warranty you'll never need. So one of the things that we have transitioned to is uh, on the, I had to, I had to send my uh, old Swarovski's in to get a stud installed, but on the new Leopold BX4 Range HDs, they come with a handy little cap that just spins off 
and I bought this kit direct from Lupul. It's their quick stem system and it came with a stud that I just screwed in on the front here and it's got a little Allen that you just tighten up to hold that in. And then this stem, so you're you're out there with your your uh, your spotting scope or whatever you're gonna have mounted to your tripod, your camera, whatever you're gonna do. Most guys are running tripods now, so this just snaps in uh, to the top of your tripod and you just click it right in to your stem on the front of this thing. And so what happens now is you have a super, super stable glassing platform. If you've never glassed with your binos, not your, not your spotting scope, because it's totally different, uh, when you put your binos in that tripod and you can just sit there and not touch your binos, no matter how good of a glasser you are, um, there's always going to be some shake and you will miss animals because either like if you do the hat grab or you do the elbow tuck or, you know, you're lean back against the stuff, whatever it is, you know, you're even your heartbeat, it's going to, it's going to throw your binos off. So having this system set up, uh, is super, super handy. Um, especially if you're glossing for a long period of time. Yeah. 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 yeah which most of the people that are hunting in the Western States, if you're successful, you're glassing for, for a long, long time. Um, if you, if you don't like this system, I have also run their saddle. So I'm a, I'm a man who likes options. Um, I like having, if I'm going to have a tripod, I'm going to have a gun saddle. So the idea is this, you can put arc plate on the bottom of this, it screws right, screws right in. You set it in your uh, tripod and set your gun in there, tighten it down. Like say for instance, you're washing a bed of buck or bull or whatever you're doing, your gun is in here, right? Well now, if you don't want to buy this stud, you can take your binos and just put one side of your bino in here and clamp it down and do the same exact thing. Um, does it work quite as good as this? No, but if you want to have both options and just be able to pull them out real quick and use that as a gun gun saddle it's yeah a good option it's really because you're not using this as yeah. a is as a gun saddle right but mm -hmm. if you have this so um really nice options from loophole uh i was running a couple of these from other companies these are this is much more affordably priced um and same with their quick stem from the other one that i had been running on these binos so overall between the price, the features you get, how comparable they are to the Suaros, um, I can't imagine someone saying, like I said, unless you got a gajillion dollars, like good for if, you. If money is not an option at yeah. all. Go to bearcountryoutdoors.com, buy all our stuff, send us some money. It'd be great. <laughs> if you got that much money, can't troll outdoors too. Yep. Uh, but I, I honestly think like, I can't imagine anyone buying the Suaros over the loopholds just because like i said they're they're pretty much apples to apples mm -hmm. and and this is less than half the price and and it's not it's not the difference between like 400 bucks and 800 bucks like i said these are four thousand bucks these are say 1600 bucks um and the warranty that comes with these versus the warranty that yeah. comes with these i mean there's no comparison on that so 100 um, percent of the time you're, you're if someone's asking you what to buy we're going to recommend that over the swirls every time yeah for price warranty everything yeah so and I, and i'm i'm guessing they'll probably have some new ad adaptations and versions of these in the future loop old wink wink uh so um looking forward to using these uh more in the field this year and uh Again, thanks you guys for for watching our videos. If you have any questions, you can you can shoot us a message uh, at Bear Country Outdoors. All right, everybody, that concludes our review for our range finding binoculars. Hopefully, you guys all enjoyed it and got some good information out of it. Thank you, Chris, for running us through that. Yep. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave us a comment and let us know what you think. We'll see you soon.